Hello kids, welcome to StoryPad. Hope you guys are doing good. Today I've got a story called um, The Three Little Super Pigs. Are you guys ready? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured the big bad wolf. When he was trying to eat them, he fell bottom first down their chimney into a big pan of boiling water. I will get you one day, little pigs, shouted the angry wolf as he was carted off to prison. As a thank you for defeating the nasty villain, the pigs were awarded superhero, super pig status by the grateful citizens of Fairyland and they helped to rebuild the whole town out of bricks to keep everybody safe. We love you super pigs, the crowd said. From that moment on, the super pigs spent all their days fighting crime and stopping nursery rhyme bad guys. But mostly there was one hard-working clever pig who did all the work while his brothers just reveal in their newfound fame. On the other side of the town in his dark dreary cell the very angry big bad wolf was hungrily plotting his revenge. Uh -oh. A few weeks later, the super pigs were called to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, bricks were starting to disappear all around Fairyland. The pigs were puzzled. Then they received some shocking news. The big bad wolf who had escaped. Oh, oh. The residents of Fairyland were terrified and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't worry, said the pigs. We will find that wolf and make him pay. They hunted high and low, far and wide, but the big bad wolf was nowhere to be seen. The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Some people claimed they had seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. So the pigs rounded up all the grandmas in fairyland. But the wolf was a master of disguise and they just couldn't spot him. As night fell, the townspeople locked themselves indoors. Too frightened to go out, everyone hoped the pigs would find the wolf soon. Inside his own home, the first super pig was relaxing when a dark shadow suddenly fell upon the room. The big bad wolf cried the little pig. In a panic, he ran all around the house and out through the front door, but he was met with a terrible surprise. The cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall around the pig's house using the stolen bricks from fairy land. They were surrounded. As the wolf closed in, the little pig raised up a near la nearby ladder to scale the vast wall, but it was just too short. Gotcha, sneered the wolf as he netted his prey. 
Unaware of the danger, the second super pig was at home polishing his medals when he suddenly spotted something out of the corner of his eye. The big bad wolf shrieked the little pig. Terrified, he let out a scream and ran through his friend door, but he too got a nasty shock when he saw the enormous high wall. Desperate to escape, the little pig jumped on a nearby trampoline, bouncing as high as he could, but it was no use. Gotcha, blasted the wolf, catching the poor little pig in his trusty net. Two down, one to go, laughed the wolf, laughed the wolf me menacingly as he prepared his delicious meal. The third super pig had heard the commotion and was busy hatching a plan. When the ba big bad wolf suddenly appeared at his window, with a plan in mind, he raced straight out of his do front door and passed the wolf as quick as his little legs could carry him. Working quickly, he freed his captured brothers from their tight pastry blankets just as the scary wolf caught up. Ha ha ha! There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. I've built a wall around your houses and now you are trapped inside, laughed the hungry wolf. I don't think so, shouted the three little super pigs. And in a flash, they blasted off high into the sky night sky. Once more the clever pig, he had used his inventions to save the day by creating the jet packs for him and his brothers. The super pigs had outsmarted the silly wolf who was trapped far below inside his own self-built prison. Wow! Pigs really can fly. The pigs were heroes and had saved Fairyland again. Hooray for the three little super pigs. The story ends and you can see still the foxes now started to read how to build a jetpack. I'm pretty sure pigs has got different plan now. So they know how to escape from fox. Hope you guys like the story. Thanks for watching and listening. See you in the next video. Bye.